Good morning! <laughs> Today is day 136. Woo! Woo -wee. So, today we're doing big butt and. <laughs> <laughs> yes, any butt's a good butt, but big butt is what we're climbing. <laughs> <laughs> and big fire scald knob. That's the plan for today. Um, we have our rain gear on today um, because the chance of rain for today is almost 100% for the whole day, which is interesting because the drive here, it was raining, yeah. and then we got here and it stopped raining, so. God thing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's out there looking out for us, yes. so we're ready. Um, pack cover is on again. Uh, it's drizzling a little bit right now, so we're definitely gonna get wet today, but that's okay. We're yeah. ready, we got the appropriate gear, and today's gonna be a good day, but Big Butt is coming up first. It's a slow, drawn out eight mile climb up to the top of Big Butt, which, which is just below 5,000 feet. So yeah. not too high and not too big of a climb, but yeah, it's gonna be good. another good day, a wet day, but yeah. a good day. Started to rain harder. We're still on our way up to Big Butt. Uh, it's it's warm though, and it's not windy, so mm -hmm. the rain isn't horrible. I mean, we're getting Manageable. wet. Manageable. Yeah, but it's okay so far. So. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're soaking wet. I don't even. It, it's raining pretty good. Yeah. We're all wet, and we'll probably get wet on our clothes, but but that's okay. Yeah. It's, we're good. It's manageable. The yeah. temperature is probably fifties. No, I low fifties, high forties. Yeah. It's yeah. it feels warm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we're we're all good, but we are going to continue that climb up to Big Butt. Here we go. Here comes the rain. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> we made it to the top of Big Butt. <laughs> we're on the other side of the bypass, and so we're hoping for a sign at the top. <laughs> we did not take the bypass. We, we didn't take the bypass. Nope. We climbed over the big, big, big butt rock scramble. Big Butt. It's still yeah. raining. It's foggy, it's, it's kind of nasty outside, but. Yeah. Could be raining harder, it could be windier, could be worse, so. We're gonna just keep going. Yes, but a but, rainy butt, but, a foggy butt, um, a wet butt. Wet it's, butt. It's still, <laughs> it's still a good butt, all good butts. All good butts. <laughs> so we're gonna stop at the shelter, get out of the rain for a little bit. That's just on the other side of Big Butt. Take a break and kind of recoup before we finish off the day. Yes. We we'll stopped for a little bit of lunch at Jerry Cabin Shelter, uh, just on the other side of Big Butt to get out of the weather, but it's not raining right now. It's just kind of dripping off the trees, but it's super, super foggy. It's pretty cold. It's definitely in the 30s, uh, but we're hanging up our stuff to dry. It probably won't dry at all, but we're gonna try. So rain jacket there, got our pack cover there. <laughs> Mom's got her rain jacket all set up. Doing some stretching. Yes. <laughs> How you feeling? How's that climb? Oh, we're done, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling and relaxing. Pretty minimalistic shelter, Got like they all are. Though. Yes, this is the first shelter that has a fireplace that we've seen yet, and I'm sure we'll get more. And I know there's more in the Smokies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take a minute here to chill, rest. Um, we did look up the weather, and it said like 20% chance of rain rest of the day today. So. Probably keep all of our rain gear on just in case, but still have about 12 miles to go to get to Allen Gap today. We're on top of Big Fire Scald Knob. Look at this amazing view, Mom. Woo! It's so beautiful. Amazing. Whoa. 360 degrees. <laughs> the rhododendrons are all curled up up here. Yeah, they are. They are very cold. Cold and all rolled. Woohoo! We found the sign! Woo! 1,900 miles from 
from Katahdin. Woo! Oh my goodness! Pretty cool. Seems like such a long way. <sighs> but that means we have less than 300 miles to go. It does. Good job, Greta. I'm proud of you, Mom. You too, Greta. Woo! I'm proud of you. Good job. We're after this sign. Mom, we're only going to see two more mileage signs. The 2000 and the 2100. Wow. And that's it. Whoa. Are you yawning? I'm tired. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm so proud of you, Mom. Proud of you, Greta. We're almost there. Yay! Woo! We have four and a half miles to go before we reach Allen Gap where we're gonna be picked up, yay! By? Greta's good friend, Shannon, best friend. Yes, Shannon is my very best friend. She lives in Charlotte, North Carolina, so not too far. Now, Allen Gap is super close to Hot Springs, North Carolina, so she's gonna come pick us up. I haven't seen her in probably about a year, but she was my roommate in undergrad at college at Mercer <laughs> University in Macon, Georgia, and she is also a veterinarian, just like me, so. I'm really excited to see her. <laughs> she is gonna be there probably about like 5.45 and we're gonna finish this hike at five. So what's our backup plan, mom, about getting into Hot Springs? Uh, we were gonna try to hitchhike when we got to the trailhead. Um, it, I don't know, the trail is really slippery and still pretty rocky, so I don't know if we'll be there that early. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We just, we're cold and wet and we don't wanna wait <laughs> or yeah. get even more cold waiting, but we're so excited to see her. Yay. I hope we get a hitch <laughs> into Hot Springs, but we got a cute little B&B &B that we're gonna stay at tonight. Right above the Outfitter, so we're gonna go visit the Outfitter. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, splurge in a little bit, our first B&B &B of the whole trail. Yeah. So definitely a big treat for us, but we're so excited. I'm so excited to see Shannon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, probably two hours left of hiking, and then we get to see her. Yay, Yay. Shannon! Well, only two cars have passed in like five minutes. And they didn't stop. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to help a sweet old lady? <laughs> hey! Wow, we stood at Allen Gap for almost an hour and did not get a hitch into <laughs> Hot Springs. So Shannon came <laughs> to rescue us. Yay! Yay, Shannon! <laughs> <laughs> and we was we were pretty frozen by the time she got there um but we got a ride into hot springs got into our b and b we are all ready for bed had pizza fries went shopping yeah did a really um, quick resupply at dollar general yep it was great worked yep yeah got nice nice hot showers oh my gosh did not run a hot out of hot water which was great mm -hmm. and um yeah we're all ready for bed yeah, 21.4 miles today. Um, Yay! Yeah, pretty good day in, in the rain for 95% of it. So pretty pre soggy. Yeah, pretty good day though to be able to do My that. My clothes far. are drying on the yeah, um, she, fan. They're hooked on the fan. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the heater is up there, the white box, and it um, when it kicks on, it blows right to the clothes. So um, they're they're getting nice and dry. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go to bed, get some good sleep, um, yep. and then get ready for tomorrow. We're gonna take kind of a chill first half of the day tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then hike just just a half day for the second half of the day. Real yep. real light day, so just a half so tomorrow. But because it's my birthday <laughs> tomorrow is Mama's birthday. Sixty six she'll be tomorrow, whoop, 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 whoop. which means. Happy Be day bad. before, oh, happy day before birthday to you. Happy, happy day, day before, before birthday, birthday to you. Me, you. Me. Happy day before Your birthday, birthday dear, dear Stitch. Susan. Slash Susan, slash Susan. mom. Yeah. Happy <laughs> day before birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some good sleep. Mom needs to get some birthday beauty sleep for a big day in the morning. <laughs> yeah, birthday beauty sleep. Yes. All right. Good night. Night. Good morning. It's day 137. I am waking up early this morning on our day off. It is 6:21. Um, I got up early because it is Mom's birthday. <laughs> She's turning 66 years old today, and I got up uh, to make her pancakes, and then I'm also gonna make her eggs. 
him bring her breakfast in bed while she's still sleeping because it's our day off. She usually sleeps until about 6.37 if she's lucky, um, but I'm gonna make her stay in bed a little bit later if she wakes up so I can bring her breakfast in bed because she's amazing, she's been working so hard and she deserves it. So let's make mom some birthday breakfast. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. We love you. 66 years young today. How do you feel? I slept all day. Yeah. What time is it? Why don't you tell them what time is it? It's 9.08. <laughs> yeah, it's so late. <laughs> it is legitimately 9.08. There's baby Eve, but 9.08. Yay. So we heated up your breakfast in the oven. Oh. Got up early to make it, but that's okay. It's still warm for you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom. Yay. How was your breakfast, Mom? Oh, it was so good. Birthday breakfast, yay. <laughs> Maybe I'll make you breakfast in bed every day. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I know better than that. Yeah. Do you feel a year older? Do you feel sixty-six? I feel so old. No, <laughs> actually, because we're in the B and B, I think, and because my body um, knows it can relax, I slept till nine a.m. I mean, like, and and that was because. Um, my notifications were going off on my phone because the <laughs> do not disturb had expired. 9 a.m.? I had to rewarm her breakfast in the oven. It was, yeah, <laughs> what was that? A good problem to have, but that's okay. Yeah. Happy, happy it birthday, Mom. It was great, and I'm relaxing, and I'm going to go take another bath and soak my feet and knees. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. We have a challenge going on. I have um, asked for birthday donations, just like Greta did. She asked for $21.94. A penny for each mile we're hiking on her birthday and she raised over four thousand five hundred dollars it's amazing because of you guys yeah it was thank you crazy great idea so i'm taking that idea stealing it and i'm going to do better no yes well i wouldn't be mad if you did yeah so um i posted early this morning woke up um at my normal time like five o'clock and um posted a birthday post on facebook and i'm asking for sixty six dollars one dollar for every trip I've taken around the sun. Woo! <laughs> so, um, and already the response has been great. So thank you so much. We're gonna beat Greta. Um, and, uh, but it's cute. There's people that are also donating on Greta's behalf because they don't choose between the two of us. But don't do that. Do it for me, my birthday. No! Yes, yes, yes. Gosh, so if you feel led to donate or you wanna give um, to, for mom's birthday, click that link in the description in the box below. Thank you. First stop, the Outfitters. <laughs> We're gonna go see about spikes and gear for the Smokies. Hi. <laughs> sure. They have two different options, uh, yak tracks and then micro spikes. Micro spikes are much better for snow and ice for traction, um, but they weigh a lot more. This probably weighs about three times um, the weight of yak tracks and the more expensive, $70 versus $30. So. We think we're maybe gonna go with Yak Tracks. Um, we're not supposed to actually get snow and ice in the Smoky, so it's just an insurance policy, but these are our two options. Lots of different choices for gloves. Yeah. Our and, hands have been super cold. And these so. are exactly what I have now, um, and they work well, except I lost one. <laughs> and I'm looking at getting some big, full-on ski gloves, because my hands have been cold when it gets about 25 degrees or colder, so I think 
I'm gonna get these. My feet get really cold when they get wet. The bread bags are helping. This is um, gators to kind of help the rain shed off of our feet. And snow. If we step in snow in the Smokies, then this will keep them from going in the snow from going inside our shoes and keep our feet a little bit, a little bit warmer. So considering some gators too, but we'll see. Trying out some yak tracks. <laughs> Obviously not going to be wearing Crocs, but first time ever having yak tracks on. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Grandma, look! <laughs> oh, a bed. Oh. A bed. Oh. <laughs> You can carry you, this, right? I was about to say, are you gonna carry that, Mom? Yay, <laughs> Shannon was our store helper. Yay! Helped us get everything. Um, I got yak tracks and then also a pair of gloves for my hands. What'd you get, Mom? I also got yak tracks, gloves, <laughs> plus waterproof sauce and gators. My We're feet not gonna get cold. My feet get really cold. Um, so I want to do whatever I can to stay warm through the smokies. Yeah. Now we're ready. Yeah. Next, <laughs> next stop, coffee shop. <laughs> Christmas. They sell happiness here. <laughs> Peppermint mocha. <laughs> What'd you get for your birthday coffee? Pumpkin, because it mm. wasn't sugar-free. <laughs> <laughs> How's it taste? Heavenly. <laughs> climb out of Allen Gap, <laughs> out of uh, the Hot Springs area. We are back on trail today. Back on trail. Yeah, got my pack. Yeah, we do. Um, <clears throat> so we're <clears throat> waking up those back muscles again because uh, got to carry the packs through the Smokies. Yep. Um, wasn't too bad a climb. Um, the big thing is I feel like I have more chance to trip and if I trip a fall mm -hmm. just because of the high center of gravity with pack. So it's great. We're warming it up and getting used to it again. Yeah. So we also said goodbye to Shannon, yeah. our best friend in the whole wide world. Um, <laughs> known her for like eight, nine years. She's my best friend. Oh yeah. She's my extra daughter. <laughs> it was so great to see Amazing. her. Thank you so much, Shannon, for coming all the way from Charlotte. Yes. Um, picking us up at the trail, being back to the trail, picking up my backpack at the Trail <laughs> Angels. Um, so it's just, it was so great to see you and spend time with you and, and you made me miss my family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shannon feels like family to us. She's been a part of our family, known our family for a long time now. So she makes us feel like home and yes. makes us miss our family, but lovely to see you with Shannon. Thank you. Yeah. Gives our hearts a little hug. Uh, but today we're doing just a half so, uh, just a half day from um, Allen Gap to Tanyard Gap, which is about five miles out of Hot Springs, North Carolina. And then we're going to get picked up uh, by a trail angel who's going to take us from Tanyard Gap um, into Hot Springs again. And we're going to stay at uh, the Laughing Heart Hostel, which if you remember, <laughs> is where we stayed for Hiker Thanksgiving. <laughs> So well, a half so is um, mm -hmm. half about the, half the mileage that we have to do on average a day. So we've brought our average down to a flat 16 miles a day if we have uh, no zero. So if we want to take a zero, we got to hike more, and we're doing great. So yay. yeah. So it, if we have to, if we want to make it home to Minnesota by Christmas, we have to average 16 miles per day yeah. every single day. Yeah. All right, let's get hiking, Mom. Woohoo! Good work on the climb, Mom. Woo! Do you feel 66? Oh no, not a day over 65. Woo! I 
am a day over 65. You're 366 days over 65. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know me in math. <laughs> Good job, keep going. We are about to climb up Spring Mountain. It's that one right there. <laughs> Mom's ready to tackle it. We're gonna go just to the right of the summit. So right about there, around on the right side, and then head in towards Hot Springs at Tanner Gap. We have about a mile and a half to go. The weather is gorgeous, perfect for hiking. Perfect. Like almost no wind. Beautiful. Beautiful, first time in like 24 hours we've had any kind of a view. So that's great. We're um, on our way down to Canyard Gap. Tanyard with the T. Oh, Tanyard. Tanyard, like Lanyard with the T. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was Canyard with the C. <laughs> and then we're gonna meet Trail Angel Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. Tina. Woohoo. Tina, Tina with the T. Tina with the T. <laughs> At Tanyard Gap. Who's gonna help us out with the rides for the next couple of days? Yee! Yay! All right, let's go meet Tina. 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 Tina! Tina! Oh, we are back at the hostel. Tonight we're staying at Laughing Heart, um, which what we talked about before is where we stayed at for Hike Your Thanksgiving. Uh, but we have what's called a semi-private room. Mm -hmm. So there's three twin beds. So we're sitting on mom's bed and there are two other beds there, but because it's Sobo season, there's not as many people here. So we have the room to ourselves. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Great. But mm -hmm. dinner was so good Yum. with Tina. Mm -hmm. So good. We each got like a hummus wrap, ra wrap veggie wrap. It was mm. amazing. Yum. We always love vegetables. Uh, jalapeno but it was, poppers. Yes, and jalapeno poppers that had cream cheese inside of them. And the dipping sauce was um, raspberry. Yeah, raspberry jam. Yum interesting never had them like that no. i don't know if that's a tennessee thing or a southern thing it was great let us know if that's yeah. weird i don't know it was good i kind of liked it yeah. <laughs> that was good, good. and yeah. then here at laughing heart we met um other people on trail that we haven't seen for many states yes. so in that picture that we just posted mm -hmm. um, we there was koa side quest a detour and metric uh, and we haven't seen um side quest since new hampshire haven't seen KOA since uh, Northern Virginia mm -hmm. and haven't seen Metric since Pennsylvania. So really cool Crazy. to see everybody again. It was, Our family. It was amazing. It was fun, but, really fun. But how was your birthday today, oh, Mom? Oh, it was great. It was so good. The hike was good. Um, hanging with Shannon in um, Hot Springs was great. Yeah. Went to an amazing coffee shop. <laughs> it was just, it was perfect. Went to the um, gear store and mm -hmm. uh, Outfitters and got the stuff we needed for um, the Rockies or the Smokies. The Smokies. Stuff. Yeah. So that was, it was, it was really great. Really, really, really great. Yeah, amazing. And Greta was so nice, made me breakfast in bed at yes. five thirty when I woke up, and then I went back to bed. So Greta's been up since five thirty. Sorry, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. that's all right. But it was awesome. So hope you had a good birthday. I had a great birthday. Yay! Yay. So now um, we're going to reveal, I haven't even seen the dollar amount yet for my birthday donations. Mm -mm. So um, so um, on my birthday, I raised $4,500 mm -hmm. yeah. and mom's goal is to beat that. Mind yes. it's still early in the night. There's still mm -hmm. many, much time left yes. yeah. for her birthday. And when you guys see this, it still counts in the total. Yeah. So your donations count. So yep. keep on coming. But because um, they are date stamped, so we will know, you know, if uh, if I made it on my birthday when we wake up tomorrow morning. But we wanted to get an up, give a, an update of where we're at, and I haven't seen the number yet. So yeah, so tell us the numbers. Um, what were okay. what were you at this morning, and what do you need uh, to be at to beat me? So we were at fifty six thousand this morning. So I need to hit sixty thousand. Five hundred dollars to beat Greta. That's so, a big number. Yeah, brrr, and we up. haven't looked, so yeah. So, let's see. Let's so see. Um, we're gonna scroll through here, <sighs> get to our number, get close. Brrr. Oh my gosh, sixty-one thousand three hundred dollars and eighty-eight cents. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am blown away. <laughs> That is amazing. Oh my goodness. And then we have two other donations that came in before my birthday because they do Greta dinner post. <laughs> and so that's not even counted those two other donations. So, oh my <laughs> goodness. 
I, I just can't believe it. You guys are great. <laughs> so great. Oh, that's awesome. No. Yay. We still have a couple weeks, couple three weeks of hiking, depending on um, the Smokies and the weather. So we are just going to rock this thing. We're going to find a cure. <laughs> yes. You guys are amazing. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little bit salty mom that you beat me but that's okay <laughs> this is one challenge that i'm okay with losing uh, but just it's thank great. you so much yeah. and you guys are... i see you tearing up and you don't, i don't know what you're talking about and you don't cry about anything no so this is awesome <laughs> you guys this is great thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much you guys it makes it easier um, yeah. on the tough days so yeah. thank you so much thank but you. We're going to head to bed, get some good rest. It's still early before yeah. 9 o'clock, and, and we got uh, a couple big days coming. Yep. I'll do my best to thank everybody and respond to your comments, but there's a ton of them. So, <laughs> um, But we're back here tomorrow night, so we will um, have good Wi-Fi and be able to respond as we can. So thank yep. you. Thank you. All right. Good night, you guys. Have a great night, and we'll see you in the morning. Night. Hi. Ron here with Garrett. Uh, we're here to celebrate uh, Greta and Sue's progress on the Appalachian Trail. We've got 200 and some miles left and they're going to make it and we're really proud of them. It's also a big week, or it was a big week because it was mom's birthday and uh, we want to celebrate that when she gets back obviously but we have a few things to say about her now as well. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'd say first, you know, Sue is really, you know, our mom, uh, she's really a godly focused individual and uh, and that comes in first and foremost, when she loves helping others. And, and you guys can see that with, with how, uh, you know, the action she's taken on the trail for Parkinson's disease. And she loves helping others um, because th that's literally all she does is just care about other people. So it's, uh, this whole event is, is just a testament to that. And to reiterate that a little more, I think she's what I would call a simple person. Uh, she loves simple things and doing simple things. For her, a walk with her dog is, heaven for her and spending time talking and doing things like that a hike you know, <laughs> um, now that brings us to the, the joke of the day what's the best way to remember your wife's birthday forget it once <laughs> talk to you later love all you guys thanks for your support bye <laughs>